No Cloak for Millie Moon, written by Teresa Callicott, illustrated by Kara Callicott and Jerry Wriggling. Millie Moon looked at the stars distant in the sky. Each wore a shimmering cloak that really caught her eye. Later, when the sun appeared, Millie turned to her and spoke. Why is it, Mother Sun, that each star gets to wear a cloak? She answered, You really should ignore the stars and their silly games. Have you never noticed how their light just stays the same? Millie Moon, you have a job to do. You're not useless like those stars. All they do is goof around beyond Jupiter and Mars. Their cloaks may look pretty, but useful they are not. Your changing light serves a purpose. It helps men on Earth a lot. One week it's just a sliver, and the next it's twice that size. Then it fills you up completely from the moment that you rise. You don't stay full for long before anyone can blink. You're headed back the other way. Your light begins to shrink. The changing of your light helps humans track their time. If you concealed it with a cloak, you would place them in a bind. So, while you do not have a cloak to prance and show off in, what you do is more important. You set the pace for men. Millie Moon puffed up with pride when she looked at it that way. Those silly stars could have their cloaks. Moons did not have time to play.